Um, the next slide is a project I'm working on with Dr. Chris Anderson at the U.S. Naval Academy. And what we've done, or what he had some students of his do last year, is design a board with an FPGA on it that would interface with user daughter boards so we didn't have to do the RF work. Uh, we could just leverage the existing work and so basically we feed the RF down to the board that you see to the left of the Beagle board and uh, it contains an A to D converter and the largest Altura FPGA we could find that was in a quad flat pack to avoid the BGA mounting uh, issues. Um, I've got four minutes, right, Jason? Correct. Okay, so but what we've done is we've taken the expansion connector from the Beagle board, run it over to the FPGA, and we we configured the FPGA to enter. Now we're using SPI. Uh, conceivably, you could use the MMC interface, but my MMC skills and my FPGA skills are not particularly good. Um, so the SPI is just an easier interface to work with. And right now I have that moving about um, three and a half megabytes a second uh, received from the FPGA. And you should be able to do the exact, you know, since SPI is uh, transmit and receive at the same time, we should be able to feed data back at exactly the same rate. It'll go a little bit higher than that, but uh, I want to get some more interesting things working. That That is enough. Uh, samples coming out of the FPGA to feed to the, the Beagle to do a lot of interesting processing. Um, and so basically we have GNU Radio working. GNU Radio has issues um, on the Beagle because the compiler is not very good at doing floating point math. So anytime you get into serious computational stuff, you're looking at hand coding assembly. And I don't know if the guy's still on. That was me asking, you know, when are we going to have a compiler? What we see right now is we can make tremendous strides doing hand-coded assembly, and we'd like to only get 10 to 15 percent from hand-coding. Um, okay, so let's see the next slide, which I think will be the last, and we can have some questions. Okay, so here's some links if you want to go and look up some other stuff with some various projects, all of which have uh, Beagle relations. Um, do we have any questions? There's one question. Um, what is the alternative to USRP, which costs uh, like $1,500? Um, they're more expensive is the best way of answering that. Right now, um, the USRP is about you know your best bet for doing general purpose signal processing. If you just want to play with the um, signal processing, look at the things like the soft rocks that uh, we talked about earlier, um, because for about $15, you can get something that will down convert, um, say, 30, 40 kilohertz of amateur spectrum, and you can look at some of the digital modes. But they're not as flexible. Um, really, the, the, the USRP replaces pieces of hardware that were costing far much, you know, were costing a lot more money. Um, and making a lower cost uh, USRP is going to be difficult by the time you get around to actually making sure you make enough money to stay, stay alive. More questions? Do we have time for one more question? OK, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, Philip. I appreciate your talk. Um,